So I'm Phil Mann, and I'm here to tell you about the wonderful Ashdown Engineering product range. Now, for anybody that's in, uh, very familiar with this wonderful British Therm, you will know that they have been basically controlling our live stages for a good two decades now. Um, but it's, as a company, they've not stood still. They've continued to evolve, continue to drive forward, whether it be in valve or solid state technology. And I'm here right now to tell you about the ABM series, which is just hit its fourth evolution. Now, for anybody that's actually used to the, uh, the amplifier and its predecessor of the range, you're going to see some very nice refinements on the new Evo 4. So let me tell you through it and give you a guided tour of that front panel. As with all Ashdowns, as soon as you plug in jack input, you're going to see a 15 dB cut. Now, that is absolutely essential with modern technology. If you guys are using active bases, you will know that onboard electronics can be anything from plus to negative 12 dB. So if you haven't got a dB to that sort of strength, you are going to overload the preamp section. Now, that's not always a bad thing, because as you know, if you drive a valve, you're going to get some very nice warmth out of it. So we can talk about that a little bit more when we get there. What's going to happen? We've got a plus negative. 12 dB pad, as we said, on the input section, and you're immediately also greeted with the shape. Now, this is a preamp shape, and what happens with when it's disengaged, the preamp is completely flat and the EQ is taken out. When it's engaged, you have that 100% stereotypical smiley face. Uh, however you want to call it, however things, what other things have we called it? We've called it the smiley face, we've called it... Um, <laughs> what's, the, what's the old one? What do we call it? Scoop! That was it, so it's good. <laughs> Also on the input stage in the end, obviously you see that wonderful brand identity which is associated with Ashdown, the notorious VU meter that's greeted. Now, um, next door to that, you have a little dip switch which is the valve drive. This is all part of the preamp stage. Now that is a true valve drive uh, and it is presented with a 12 AX7 valve which is built into that preamp section. Once we've moved on from the preamp section, you're greeted with three key components. Uh, first of all, the EQ, second being a one band compressor, and the first is a subharmonics feature, which is obviously synonymous with Ashdown Engineering. Okay, well, let's talk about those and how the EVO4 has developed compared to its predecessors. Well, anybody that knows the Ashdown range will know that originally there were always six band EQs. That's now been pumped up. It's a nine band EQ, massive refinement, a lot more exact, huge more top end, and an ability to really home in those low mids. Ashdown, to me, never really had. They do now. The EVO4 is a massive step forward for them. Next thing is one band compressor. Tightens up that low end, brings the top end together. It's very, very functional. What's really great here is the musicality. With a lot of compressors, they can be very harsh, really squash that signal in harsh. This isn't. It's very warm. It's very, very musical. Third and final setting on that EQ section is the subharmonics. Now, it's essentially an octava, um, but it's got wonderful polarity in the trim pot. So what happens is that you can engage it to give in richness to that low end, really bring out the bottom end of the instrument, or if you want to, crank it all the way around and go full 70s fuzz and, and disco, that's your choice. The last section uh, that we need to talk about about the ABM range is the output section. Obviously, um, this wonderful EVO4 is available in 3, 6, and 1200 watts, all fan cooled. If you look at the rear panel of the amplifier, you're greeted with two speak ons, allows you to run four or eight ohm into single or dual cabs. Obviously, you then got a full effects return line in, and then the most important, the control for the four way uh, foot switch, which is sold separately to enable you to access the EQ, the compressor, the valve, and that SAP harmonics. Now, if we address the, uh, the front panel just one last time and we look at the output section, you're going to see two wonderful little things that I'm actually very fond of. The first is a front-facing DI. Now, a lot of people think that a DI can be quite cumbersome if it's in the front of the amplifier, but you think about it. If you're on stage and you've got a faulty pot, you've got a faulty DI section, and you're the only person that's in front of 10,000 people, you need to be able to access it. It's pointless than being on the back of the amplifier. Ashdown have ensured that the musician can deal with that maybe in times of crisis. One final refinement to that EVO4 is that they've now put in a beautiful bright blue mute switch. Again, if you're very familiar with any of the predecessors, you'll know that when it was muted, you didn't know until you went over and pressed it. Now, there's no mistake in it. Guys, this is the ABM EVO4 range. This is what it sounds like. Mm -hmm. 